Want a chainsaw or maybe a guitar as a weapon or just to play along? Then I'm going to show you how. You're going to need two key cards, one to actually get the items, another to get the full story. So it's kind of optional, but I'm going to show you both. But the entrance to this bunker is in the 3D printer room that you probably came across first when you first started at the green circle. There's a bunch of other goodies in here as well, and we'll be going through pretty much one of the late game dungeons. Although it's not as challenging as you might think. If you find the video useful, do leave a like, check out the rest of my Sons of the Forest guides, and go and check out my 100 Days live stream channel, where I'm live streaming Sons of the Forest every day at 3pm. So yes, you need a shovel. You need to dig into this green spot here with the two surveyors, and inside you'll find a smaller little bunker with a keycard. It's one of the green circles that you can really get close to as soon as you spawn in in the game. With that key card, you'll now be accessing the kitchen bunker that you can find here on the map. And again, I've shown you guys this before as it's where you get the crossbow. You need to go through the kitchen and there should be an access door on the right hand side. You'll have to deal with some fingers and some babies as you progress through Hydroponics Centre where they're growing some of their fruit and veg. And eventually you'll come to an office where you'll find Virginia's key card. I've got guides for both of them areas, go and check them out. But that's it. If you don't want any more spoilers for this particular dungeon, click off now. Otherwise, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know. So obviously, make a save point inside the 3D printer room. Print anything else you think you might need. And once again, the glitch is still there that you can reload your saves and pick up a whole ton of resources. You're mainly going to be dealing with the more normal mutants, as well as maybe a couple of creepies and pretty much only one set of twins. Head down the corridor, use the access key, and you're now inside the guest areas and living quarters of everyone that has been on the island. So if you want to bring some light, although there is quite a lot of natural light in here as well, I was lucky enough to have got the shotgun already, so make sure you go and watch the video on that. So you'll be in a weights room, and then you come across your first mutants as well as fingers. Go ahead and take them out. There's plenty of space to run and pretty much flank a lot of these guys, so you shouldn't have too many problems. Search every nook and cranny for extra loot, lots of food, energy drinks in here as well. And a huge amount of cloth, which up till now I'd found a bit more of an issue. To the right there'll be a swimming pool with not much going on other than a few babies and a few tiny extra little bits. Then simply progress through the weights and fitness area until you get to the spa place. If you head over to the right hand side you can pick up the pyjamas clothing set. Keep progressing through and you'll come across a, a twins. Now, if you shoot them from too far away, my shots weren't registering. I had to get really up close as the door was seemingly blocking them. You'll be in another pool slash bar area. And again, there's not much going on in here other than maybe like an email. And again, some more collectible resources. If you're a law nerd, there's plenty of emails and memos talking about not having digital stuff on, as well as a problem with a golf course. You've then got two directions to go. You've got the doorway here that, again, you'll need the access key to use and work. But we'll come to that bit in a moment. So now we're in the karaoke bar area. And again, there should be some plenty of resources. There's also a guitar that you can have as a weapon or playable if you really want. As you might expect, lots of vodka to pick up at the bar. In the seating area, don't bypass the guest key card. Haven't found out exactly what it's for just yet, but don't worry, I'll have a video as soon as I do. So you'll come to this wedge door that you won't be able to access and we're going to go just into a quick small office now before we head back to that main access door. The office is just to the right hand side of the bar as we came in. And this is why you need Virginia's keycard as this is the only one that opens this door. Pick up the buckshot ammo. And really there wasn't much else in here. I was a bit disappointed other than getting some extra ink. I guess really it's here for the story where you find a last will and testament of Edward Pufton. Because I'd already opened the door, some of the mutants had already come out, and this wasn't such a bad thing, it meant I had more space to deal with them, especially if you've only got really melee weapons, it might be a good idea. So once you've dealt with the mutants, you can then hopefully go through that corridor, no problem. And that's it, we're back at that access corridor, and keep going down. Law nerds, look out for the notice on the table that talks about one of the artifacts. You'll see an open door to a cinema and a fingers guarding away, alongside a few bubbers. You might want to try leading them all the way through if you are having problems, if you don't have long range. Take the babies out and that's it, you have got to the room with the chainsaw. There's a ton of cereal and energy drinks, check behind the sofa also. The new chainsaw runs on batteries, not fuel, and you can't have any attachments obviously. It's maybe not as good of a weapon as the previous game, 
Test this out with the exit point, which you'll find just at the stairs when you came out of that big long corridor on the right. It really was having problems, obviously swinging it wasn't doing much, and even when I tried using it, the animation for it really makes you try and get down. So yeah, I would say it's probably a bad weapon to use. Certainly for babies at least. Corridor will lead back into a cave network with more babies, and there's a small loop that goes back on itself, but basically just keep heading up. You'll eventually come to a drop off point, hence why you can't get in access to this place earlier. And that's it, you're out, you're done, you've now got a chainsaw. Hope that's been useful, look out for my next guide incoming soon, which is going to be how to get all the other axes if the chainsaw's still a little bit away from you. Laters, ratbags.